back with Crosstalk with Jack and Rod. And we have a special guest. His name is Michael McGowan. He's co-author of the book Terror Proof Your Mind and Money. Welcome. Good morning. Give us a little uh, insight onto your book, please. This started about a year ago when I was doing workshops. Uh, hey, excuse me, Mr. McGowan, but we actually have the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, on line four. Hello, Governor. Holy Moses. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Good morning, Governor. Nice to hear from you. Now, Governor, what would you say <laughs> that people should do to prepare for a possible terrorist attack? Really, let's be honest. I mean, there's not much that you can do. I mean, if you see someone that maybe uh, uh, has a towel or is a brown skin, uh, you should be you should be cautious. Well, yes and no. I agree with you that most of the terrorists seem to have been young Arab males. Certainly, that's been the track record. But I mean, it's not my problem. Don't wear the towel. Well, I'd avoid the travel industries, but I'm not going to deal with the towel issue. Uh, Governor Schwarzenegger, I've heard now that terrorists, they're strapping bombs on their wives to do these suicide bombings. Well, I and think that, uh, I mean, so many women, you know, they, they, they complain. The way for them to get rid of their wives, perhaps they say to them, well, you're helping me with the terrorist thing. Just put this bomb on your body. And meanwhile, you know, they're secretly getting rid of a spouse that they cannot stand. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Hmm. I think that they're... Their overriding uh, belief system is that we are evil and that whatever they need to do to get entrance to a building, it's more likely to be easy with a woman. Do you feel that the Israelis and the Jews are to blame for these terrorist acts? Absolutely. That I'm so glad you brought that up. The Israelis and the Jews are at the heart of what the problem is. These people were not stopped. They're bickering and they're fighting and... Oh, you know, we've got the better, the holy land and all this crap. Nobody cares. I, I don't doubt that there have been ongoing, I mean, of bickering in the Middle East between <laughs> given people. The other issue is coming up now. People don't know, realize about talking about terrorism and the homosexual population. This is something that we are not understanding, that they obviously have some involvement in terrorism. Is there anybody we've left out? Well, I mean, I'm just stating the facts. I mean, the homosexual population uh, obviously supports uh, terrorism. I myself, you know, back in the bodybuilding days, I, I have known the touch of a man. I'm sure that you have, you have dabbled in this. This is not something uncommon, but this does not make me homosexual. I mean, I am now with the women and straight, but I mean, you yourself, I mean, you now and again maybe enjoy the touch of a man. No. You're talking about the active involvement of homosexuals, the majority of them, Absolutely. in terrorism and getting Absolutely. on airplanes and blowing Absolutely. up things? Yes, because... It's it a stretch, so, Governor. No, you listen, you cannot... Just, you can look at the towel and say there's a terrorist, but you look at the homosexual, you know, you say, but this guy here, he's clearly, you know, he is clearly not a, not a threat to me, and then the next thing you know, he's putting a bomb somewhere or he's trying to invade you, you know, from behind us. Maybe uh, you could be terrorist. I don't know. This is what they said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bye.